Oshio. Greetings in the name of the Lord. I want to share something that's heavy on my heart. Don't get mad. <laughs> Don't get mad at the messenger boy. You know, America was once a great nation. It had once loved God. And God loves America but he is angry with her and he despises what has been done in this country many things has been done in his name some for the good but a lot has not This country has known God's commands, known His word, and then turned around and spit in His face and cursed God. They have cursed Israel. It had once reached out to help Israel, but turned around and cursed Israel. And all the curses that was pronounced upon Mount Ebal has fallen upon America. Now, in this country, many has proclaimed in the name of the Lord the name of Jesus but all they've done was crucify him many of you denominational churches have divided and cut up the body of Christ you have spit on them you have cursed them and you've all done this in his name and God is not happy for all the times that you have pronounced that I am blessed and that I will be raptured away I will not suffer wrath I will not suffer judgment but God's judgment has begun and it has begun in the house of God just as the Jews as Paul said Jews first and then the Gentiles so as it has begun in this country <coughs> just just as it is with the Jews first in this country it has begun with the house of God and then the wicked. For God is going to pour judgment on all you denominational churches who have forsaken God. You have embraced the ways of the world and of all the things that God hates. And God is going to take everything that you have away from you. you that have all the big churches and you have claimed proclaimed in the name of the Lord curses upon others those curses has now fallen upon you God is going to take everything you hold dear away from you you're going to be tried and you're going to be tested like you've never been tried and tested before. God is going to do this to you. He's going to take some of your families away, 
some of your families are going to turn against you. He's going to take your churches away. He's going to turn everything that you hold dear and give it over to your enemies. You're going to forsake God because you're going to curse Him for what He's done to you. But you have done so unto God and so He is going to do to you. This country, the leaders of this country, the leaders of these denominational churches is going to be exposed for what they really are. You're going to see many disasters come upon this country. But what you're going to see is persecution. This you know. But for all those of you who said, I will be raptured. God is going to put a, a test on you like you've never been tested before. Because you who have said, I will be raptured, you embrace the world. You embrace everything that God hates. God is not happy with you. Now, you might not believe or understand or think, uh, who am I? I am nothing. I do not proclaim to be anything or anybody. All I am just trying to relate to you something that, that I know will happen. Because God has seen everything y'all have done in the name of the Lord. You will become an adulterer. You have flirted and lain in bed with the enemy of God. You have, a commit, you have committed adultery. You are guilty of adultery. This whole country is filled with nothing but adultery. It is... Sodom and Gomorrah. This country is Babylon. And God will judge every single one. Now God has chosen people here. And He will keep you and He will keep His hands on you and protect you. He will keep you from His judgment. But you will be tested. You will go through the fire and you will be purified. And you will come out bright and shining as the sun. God has blessed you. And He will keep you. But for those of you who have claimed, I am the child of God. God has disowned you. He has thrown you aside. God will step on you. He will smash you with His mighty right arm. You will lose everything that you hold so dear. And you will wonder and question, Why have you forsaken me, God? Because you have forsaken God. You have forsaking Him and done everything in His name that He hates. You have committed adultery. You have cursed His people. You have done everything and done it under His name and God is going to curse you just like He did Israel. Just like God had cursed Israel and judged Israel, God has already begun to pour out judgment and curses upon this country and upon all you denominational churches. God will tell you plainly to repent, to turn to Him and seek Him with all your heart. Look into your hearts 
and see what is there. God, He will forgive, He will heal if you repent with sincere heart. Many of His servants have went out and warned you, and you have cursed them, you have mocked them, you you laughed at them, and everything that they spoke will come upon you. And I am speaking to you, all you denominational churches. I think that it's just plain. A lot of you know this, and a lot of you believe it. But then there's a majority of you who do not. And I cannot help what you don't believe. Many in Israel did not believe the men that warned them. And you've seen what happened to Israel. God's curse, all His curses has come finally upon America. You have put your trust in things your pleasure, your family, your buildings, your homes, everything you have put before God. You have committed adultery. You have lain in bed with the enemy of God's soul. God's very being, His, His holiness, you have did this against Him. And now, you're faced with a curse. Everything you've done, I will tell you, for those of you who have committed adultery against God, everything that you have done has been in vain. Because you have not sought the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, with all your strength, you have not obeyed Him. You have disobeyed Him. You have shown disrespect unto God. So God is going to take everything you have away from you. God is going to separate the sheep from the goats with what lies ahead, with what God is going to pour out on this country, what He has begun to pour out on this country, you will find. You will find. You will know who are His people, who are the sheep, and who are the goats. You have followed after signs of false believers who claim to know the Lord in His name. And you have laid curses and pronounced curses in the name of the Lord upon the sheep of God. So God has cursed you. Everything that you have cursed, every curse that you have pronounced and judgment that you have pronounced on God's people his true servants, His men servant and women servants, God is going to pour out upon you. You have done many things against God. But God will ask of you to repent while there is time. He has given you already this time to repent. So what are you going to do? Now is the time to get on your hands and knees, all of us, to turn to God with all our hearts and souls, to repent. The wicked, let them be wicked still. Those who are righteous, let them be righteous still. Those who murder, let them murder still. 
you be a light for the Lord, bright and shining for God. For judgment has come, and it has come upon the house of the Lord, and it has come first. And, oh, woe be tied to all those who are wicked, those who have not known God. It will be worse with you, with you, all you denominational churches, all you have proclaimed to be of Christ and God, you've said, <coughs> you have said, I've done many things for God. Look at all the great things I have done. Have I not helped the sick and the homeless? Have I not healed? Have I not cast out demons? In your name, Lord, have I not done many of these things for you? But God says to you that He don't know you. He has never known you. For you have never known Him. All you have done was proclaim your righteousness. You proclaim your deeds. You have had your reward. Now comes your judgment and God will destroy everything here in this country and around the world he will lay waste all all of those who have proclaimed in the name of God every deed that they have done, every proclamation of their good deeds and their wealth, all their, their, their numbers and their churches and all these great things that they have proclaimed that God is going to take away and lay waste. As well, after He has separated His sheep, He's going to lay waste to all the wicked, to all the ungodly, for all those who have not known Christ, and for all those who have mocked God. God is not mocked. God laughs at them. For now His mighty right arm has fallen. And where will you go? Where will you hide? He cannot hide from God. He is everywhere. So, what God wants for every single one of us is to repent and go out and proclaim in His name, in all righteousness and holiness, to proclaim to the lost that He is coming to proclaim salvation, repentance, to turn from your wickedness, to, re to, to turn from all unrighteousness. And He will hear from heaven. If you will proclaim, if all of you who will repent with a true heart and proclaim that He is Lord, your Lord, if you will proclaim His righteousness and His truth in His name and abide and live and dwell and obey His Word, He will pour out His Spirit upon all His people and He will stir one last time a great outpouring of His Spirit. But it will be a short work. But God is going to do it. He wants you to repent. To turn from your wickedness. Quit making excuses. Quit embracing the things of this world. Quit 
relying on your movies. Quit relying on your books. Quit relying on your entertainment and your joy and your own pleasure. And you will turn away from these things and will turn to the joy of the Lord. God will still pour out His blessings on His people. Do not say amen. Do not say ha-ho. Do not sit there and say yes when your heart is not there. You proclaim many things in the name of the Lord. But you are not with the Lord. You come to the house of God. You come to the place of worship. And you sing joyous songs, but your heart is not there. You're not, your heart is far from God. You leave the church. And you go out and entertain yourself while many souls are dying and suffering and sin and wickedness. God is pouring out all that, that which has fallen out upon the wicked. He's going to pour out and judge you first and then the wicked. What is your excuse? You sit there and you proclaim in the name of the Lord. You proclaim His, His Word, but yet you don't obey it. You sit there and you grab a hold of all these things that God hates. You sit there and you do this while many are, their souls are starving. There are many that are hungry for God's Word. You have disregarded all of those who are overseas and that are starving for Him that is hungry and lost and blind. You have disregarded the blind. You have put stones in front of them to stumble and fall. This is what you have all done in the name of the Lord. You sit at ease and feast. And yet, what have you done? You have done nothing. You have proclaimed the name of God upon many people. Everything that you do, you have proclaimed it. That it's all in God's name. You go to church, but there is nothing there. You say, come, God visits, but God is not there. You threw God out. Come, we have the truth, but you do not know the truth. You have shut your ears and shut your mouth and your eyes to the truth. You have proclaimed your own doctrine, your own teachings. You have done all this in the name of the Lord. You have proclaimed this in His name, the righteous holy name of the God, of Most High, the one who dwells in heaven, whose earth is his footstool. You've done all these great things that you proclaim to be great and done it all for him. But you have not done it for him. You have done it for yourselves. You have heaped up your own pleasures upon yourself. You've done every single thing in your name and call it the name of God. But it is not in the name of God. It is upon your own name. Your own lust. Your own evil desires. Many true men and women. Servants of God Most High. You have thrown out. You have turned your back on. You have judgment coming upon you. God is not happy. Many of you get up and proclaim in the name of the Lord. In false tongues you prophesy. But God is going to take every false thing that you have prophesied and turn it around. And that's a curse unto you. You have cursed God. You have profaned the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you've done many, many unholy things in His name. 
You go to church and you, you, you come home. You go out to the movies. You watch things and you listen to music and, and watch all these other things that God is not happy with. You go out on these luxury trips and things and you do it all in the name of the Lord when God has not authorized you, when He has not given you permission. You have not asked God. You have done this. You went off to retreats, but you will retreat to a hole, to some place when God comes with His judgment. You're going to hide. Every single one of you who have done this in the name of the Lord, you're going to hide from Him who is holy. You will know who are the sheep and who are the goats. You have done so many wicked, evil things and done it under a sky disguise like a, a wolf that hides under a sheep's clothing. You have sit there and hid under this, this deception and deceived many souls. You have brought entertainment into the house of God, into the assembly, into the place of worship, into that which is dedicated to God and heaped up entertainment on yourself. And you've done this all in the name of God. Judgment it is again has come upon you. God will visit you, but you will not like, you will not be happy for the judgment that comes when He visits. God is going to visit you. You are under a curse. If you don't repent, every curse, everything that you have done in His name is coming upon you. You have heaped up pleasures, cars, boats, swimming. You went out going fishing and hunting, all, you know, enjoying your own pleasures, while many do not hear the Word of God. You make excuses for yourselves. You hide under a wolf's disguise. You may look like a sheep, but you're a wolf. You look like wheat, but you are a tear. You are a weed. Judgment has come upon you, and He will visit you. I don't like having to say these things. But the thing is, it, you know, God wants you to know. He does love you. God will discipline His children and correct them. And for those who rebel, nothing but judgment will come. God's wrath will be poured out upon you if you do not repent and turn to God now while there is time, <coughs> you, have, you have done all these different things, all in His name. God loves you. God loves His people. He loves this country. He loves all the people around the world, but He hates evil. He hates wickedness. He hates sin. Why have you embraced and allowed these evils in the house of God. Why have you embraced it? Why have you allowed it? Why have you allowed Jezebel to come inside his church, his body? God is not coming for a bride that is filled with sin and wickedness. Many of you said, I am ready. I am I will be taken out, but God will take you out, but God's not going to give you a home of glory and honor, but nothing but dishonor and 
and nothing but judgment. His wrath only is upon you when you do not repent and you do not turn to Him. If you don't start seeking His face now, all you who are in the body, those of you who have fallen short, you have fallen away, those of you who have, if you don't repent now, if you don't get right now before Him, you will be caught in the judgment that is coming upon this country. I am sorry to have to say that, but this is the truth. You can mock, you can curse, but remember, everything, every mocking that you mock, every curse that you curse, will come upon you seven times seven. God is not happy. God is displeased with those in, around the world, but especially with America. There is no more excuses. You will find God's judgment upon this country. When this year is out, as it is going out, you're going to see God's judgment proclaimed. The right and mighty hand of God. It has already begun, but you will see God's judgment. And each wave that comes, it will be worse and worse and worse. Total destruction is for this country. And a lot of you proclaim that this country is so blessed. Give the give of the the seed of faith. And God is blessing this country. There's going to be a great revival. But God says there's going to be great destruction. There's nothing going to be but poverty. And death. A curse. All the curses that is written in His Word. That is written in the book of Deuteronomy. All those curses has come upon this country. So you better repent. Repent with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with your strength, your whole being to repent before Him. Now is the time to do so. But all you denominational churches, especially you that have large congregations, God is going to take it away from you unless you repent. All these things that you're doing under His name to entertain people and to bring them in, God is going to take everything oh, you have and is going to give it into the hands of the enemy. For all those who curse you, God is going to give it into their hands because you cursed Him by your actions. You are a curse unto God. Repent. Turn away from your wickedness. Do the works of God. Do the works. Get out and deliver the message of Jesus Christ. Walk like Jesus. You say you know Jesus, but if you knew Jesus, you would walk as He walked. You're not called to have blessings of houses and, and swimming pools and cars and and all these things, and luxury liners, you were called to suffer. And all those righteous and holy people that stand before the Lord, everything that they have done and suffered, all in the name of God, will judge you. They will condemn you when they will personally condemn you when you stand before the Lord. The evil and the hate that you buy towards your enemies instead of loving your enemies, instead of forgiving your enemies. God has poured judgment on you. God has not forgiven you and will not forgive you until you repent and forgive your enemies. Until you deliver the message of Christ and live as Christ did. Walk as Christ did. If you will walk in His light, 
God will not only forgive you, He will heal you, and you will see His Spirit poured out upon all those who hear. You have said, we do not see miracles anymore. We do not see the dead rising. We do not see uh, the people walking that are lame and the blind seeing. It is because of your unbelief and because of the wickedness that you walk in that you refuse to believe in God and His holy name. It is because that you chose to ignore everything that God has called holy and, because, and the calling that He has called you in because you have refused to walk in faith and to walk as Christ and that is the reason why you have not seen miracles is because of your unbelief because of your wickedness and your your unholiness everything that you've done you've done in the name of the Lord but God is not with you for God did not say thus says the Lord to you but you have continued to do all these things in the name of God said God's Holy Spirit spoke to me when God did not speak to you when God speaks you will know all his servants have known when he spoke, and you do not know the voice of God. That is why. But when God pours out his Spirit, you will see all these things through only when you repent. When you turn away from all your unrighteousness, all your excuses, turn away from all this and, and deny yourself. If you will pick up your cross, you do not know what the cross is. You talk about the cross, the message of the cross, but you have not known what the message of the cross is. You do not pick up your cross. Pick up the cross of Christ today, daily. Deny yourself. Deny yourself and just be prepared and deny everything. It's only Him. Be prepared to walk in His steps. Be prepared and walk in that pathway that Christ walked along up to Calvary, to Golgotha, to die. You should die I should die, every one of us should die to ourselves. Die to yourself. You have not denied yourself. You have not denied yourself. And you sit and you go out on all these wonderful pleasure cruises and done this all in the name of the Lord. You went and thought going to Israel and to Holy Land that this will be a blessing to you, but all you have done was heap up your own pleasures. Everything you've done that you proclaimed was in the name of the Lord has not been for the Lord but for yourself. You have put entertainment and allowed ungodly things in your church. You have programs that God has not authorized, that He is not anointed, that His blessing is not upon. You thought because you have numbers that it have increased daily that you, this is a sign that God is with you, but God has turned His back on you. God no longer visits there. You had kicked Him out a long time ago. You who once used to preach and of all that what is holy, you have turned your back against him. Now it is everything that you have cursed has now come upon you. The question lies, will you do it today? Will you repent? Will you die to yourself? Do not say, I am saved, I am washed in the blood. Because you have turned your back. Your righteousness is as now unrighteousness. 
God will not remember the deeds that you have done before because you have turned your back against Him. But if you will turn, turn back and seek Him with all your heart and truly from all your heart to come to Him today, He will hear from heaven and He will touch you and He will use you but see, now you do not see nothing. You follow after signs. There's no signs following you because God is no longer with you. But if you repent and turn away and quit following these false signs and false wonders and will turn to the only true God, if you will turn and uphold the name of Jesus Christ, God will hear from heaven and you will know that you are sons and daughters, truly sons and daughters of God. But now a lot of you have become illegitimate children. You have become disobedient children and the Father of lights is not happy. He is very disappointed. He is very angry. It grieves his heart. But God is going to shake you. God is going to wake you. But why are you waiting? Why are you saying, I will wait till it comes. And then I will repent. But God will say to you that you need to wake up now and repent because you will not have that time. You will not have that day. For you who say such things, He will take you and He will take you out and you will not have time. Your days are numbered. So turn to Him. Turn to Him today and repent of all unrighteousness, every wicked and evil thing before God. God will help you if you will turn to Him today. Whatever is troubling you, God sees and He will deliver you. God can do this. God hears, but it must be from the heart. But all you denominational churches all you self-proclaimed sons and daughters of God, those of you who are disobedient, consider yourself warned. Consider it. Don't get mad at me. That's all I ask. But I think it is time that we wake up. We need to wake up. Have you died? Have you picked up your cross? Do you really know what the cross is? Have you really known what the cross is? Do you know what your cross is? A lot of you probably won't ever know. But there's some of you who will. And some of you will pick up your cross and you will follow Him. You will not deny Him in that day. When the time comes, you will stand the test. You will not deny Him. You will stand true. You will be tried and, and purified through the fire. America's judgment has come. So what are you going to do? What's your excuse? I hope that we all will repent. And I hope that we will all take up our crosses and follow Him because we're going to be judged. And if judgment begins with us, then what does that mean 
for the ungodly. God is going to clean house. Think about it. I have said what needed to be said. Shalom. And I hope.